pass and will not. The femoral artery is severed, and there is approximately a 10 second high pressure bleed. So again, this is the worst possible scenario where the uh, artery as well as the veins are severed within the muscle body, not dissected free, but within the muscle body, which makes it particularly difficult to control. Uh, once again, uh, as pointed out, direct pressure does in fact work. Uh, and uh, something that uh, we tend to overlook, uh, it's also immediately available. You always have these tools with you. So pressure works. Uh, here we have the forbidden fruit, uh, the wound staff. <coughs> The instructor immediately begins kneading the product, forcing the wound staff down to the bottom of the wound bowl where it can occlude uh, the high pressure bleed. The consistency of the wound staff when mixed with blood is approximately that of plumber's putty. The important thing about this video is that there is absolutely no time delay. This is at real time. So from beginning to end, you're seeing the entire process without uh, any skips. Packing the wound staff product down to the bottom of the wound bowl, covering the entire floor or entire bottom of the wound bowl with the product. He's going to check the bleed, and you'll notice that there's sufficient pressure to push the agent up and begins leaking right there. So mixing the blood back with the agent, the instructor continues to knead, continues to force the product down to the bottom of the wound bowl. You'll notice he'll start picking the agent up from other areas within the wound bowl where it is not needed it's not doing its best work, and he will move the agent around. The agent does not dry, there is no exothermic reaction, so there's no increased temperature here. Still maintaining some element of pressure with that left hand. Transferring with the right hand, continuing to move the agent around to where it's most needed. You see that we already have substantial control of this high pressure bleed. Even at this point in the process, and we're three minutes in. Still moving agent around, packing it on top of the other agent and forcing it down into the bottom of the wound bowl. We are now three minutes, 20 seconds into the bleed, and we have hemostasis achieved. All right. <clears throat> Those of you who had the frustration of uh, dealing with a, a wound that simply won't stop bleeding, no matter what else you're trying to do, and how that then distracts you and interferes from everything else that's going on, seeing something like this, this truly is the hand of God. 